In this video, we're going to take a look at three steps and three minutes to create this animation. And if you've never used the time-based effects, this will open up a whole new workflow to you. What's up everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, we're essentially going to be taking a look at how to create this text animation. Then right at the end, I'm going to point you towards another three minute tutorial, which will show you how to create the gradient effect. So inside After Effects, I just have a composition here. If I bring up my settings, 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second and four seconds long. I also have two text layers here. I'm going to right click new and add a null object. I'm going to select these two layers and just parent them to the null. And then select the null object, press the P key to bring up the position keyframes. We'll move over to about 20 frames, turn on the keyframes, move over another 20 frames forward and just add another keyframe. And then I'm going to move to the first frame and you can move this down by just holding shift and down. I'm going to zoom out here and actually just drag this right about there and then do the same at about two. Let's just drag that up and zoom back in here. Last thing I want to do is add some easing to this. So select all your keyframes, press the F9 key, and then let's enter the graph editor. Now just make sure that you are in the speed graph. So by selecting here and going to edit speed graph, I'm going to select this keyframe here drag this back until it snaps, select this keyframe here and do the same so that you have almost this U shape over here. You can exit the graph editor and take a preview. The next step is to actually cut this animation up. The way we're going to do this is with a gradient. So new solid and call this gradient. I'm going to add a gradient ramp to this. So type in gradient and we'll find this gradient ramp here. Double click, move this over to the right and move the white over to the left. Now in order to create the cutups, we just have to add a posterize. I need to drop this below our text just to see. Let's make the level eight, and I like the amount of cuts that'll happen here. We can turn this off, and the next thing we need to do is add an adjustment layer. I'm going to come over to the effects panel, go down to time, and we're going to choose time displacement. Change the layer to look at the gradient layer, then change the source, to look at the effects on top of that layer. We're going to change the time seconds to 0.5. Now if we drag back, you'll actually see that on the first frame we still have an image. So we need to move this down further. I'm going to select my null and move this about here. I'm going to pull this down until the text comes off the screen. So holding shift and down until it exits the screen. If we go to about two seconds, it should be gone. That's the major part of this effect taken care of. Let's move into another composition. We're going to drag this text on top here, move forward slightly till we see this. And I want to come over to effects and presets and I'm going to type in CC slant. I want the slant to be about 45 degrees and you'll see this moves over to the right. So I'm going to take the floor here and just drag it to the center. If you want to learn how to add the colorful gradient motion blur to the animation, check out the video popping up on screen on the left. Otherwise, there will be another video showing on the right. Like, comment, share, keep animating, and until next time.